Und damit hallo und herzlich willkommen zurück bei Genshin Impact. Wir sind ja mitten im Nirgendwo, weil gestern das Stream war. <lacht> um mal kurz zu sagen, um zu zeigen, was wir gestern im Stream gemacht haben. Am Ende noch. Bis auf ein bisschen sammeln und gammeln. Ich gestern dann am Schluss noch Bock habe, meine Karte umzubauen. Und ja, gleich geht's mit Kasua weiter. Das ist bloß so ein kurzes Ding. So haben wir so ein kleines, so ein kleines Liue Garten Ding gebaut. Ganz gut gereicht für einen Haufen Zeug da drin. Ich glaube, es sind über 70 Sachen. Vielleicht ein bisschen wenig Gegenstände drin, aber das sollte auch eher so ein Garten sein. Also. Wollte ich nur mal gezeigt haben. So. Kasua. Äh, in der Zimmer. Ich doch gerne mal rein, jeden Samstag. <lacht> Kommt doch, wenn man die Folge sieht. So, wir hatten das mit, der, mit dem zerstörten Haus. Wait. Warte, du doch. Ich höre etwas ominous in the wind. Oh! Das muss ein anderer von diesen Sounds sein, die nur du kann hören. As sketchy as that whole thing seems, you did put it to good use when we were chasing down that vision thief at Beto's tournament, so... Das ist sehr verlässlich. Hmm. Now I'm picking up a strong scent in addition to the sound. It's right around here somewhere. <lacht> Tut mir leid, dass ich jetzt da lachen muss, aber wenn er sagt, er kann den Wind hören und dann... Es riecht auch komisch. <lacht> Entschuldigung, das war ich. It's gone now, but I can still sense the direction it left in. It felt very much like that ancient presence in Inazuma, the remnants of the Tatarigami. Ich hätte nie gedacht, dass Tatarigami hier auftaucht. Indeed, but this unexpected spring of inauspicious energy may prove to be of benefit to our investigation. We should remain vigilant and approach slowly. So it's an underground warehouse. The force is definitely coming from down below. The source of the Tatarigami energy has long since left this place. But the residue it left behind still hasn't dissipated completely. Judging from the concentration, I would have to conclude that the Tatarigami source resided here for a very long time. Mrs. Nagato said her husband used to hang around the warehouse by himself a lot. It could well be that he was already under the influence of Tatarigami energy at that time. Fällt das andere nicht auf? From what I've been told, Tatarigami does not turn all upon whom it preys into violent monsters. But most will develop a stubborn streak upon being exposed to the Tatarigami's unfulfilled will. Their interests become fanatical obsessions. Mr. Nagato had an interest in collecting to begin with. The influence of Tatarigami could explain why he became an obsessive hoarder, amassing more and more possessions even as he put himself in grave debt. Um, so what should we do now? Go down and take a look? Step back. I'll open the door and take a look inside. Es ist gefährlich. If we don't open this door, we can move no closer to the truth. You needn't worry. Both of us have faced far greater dangers than this. Relatively speaking, the risk here is trivial. Wie? Ah. What's down there? Everything's buried in debris. I can't see anything. It looks like the fire caused a cave-in, reducing the entire warehouse to rubble. Ich weiß nicht, ob das gut oder schlecht ist. That was too scary! Paimon was so sure that the warehouse boogeyman was about to jump out at us! <laughs> the warehouse boogeyman. All we can do now is keep searching in the direction that the Tatarigami energy source left this place. 
two ordinary humans entangled with the Tatarigami. I fear much misfortune has already befallen them. Wir dürfen nicht länger zögern. Yes, let's go. If nothing else, it's vital that we find out where this Tatarigami energy is coming from. Quiet your mind and focus on what you sense around you. Perhaps. Oops. Wo ist er da hin? Oh, da! Uh, hier stinkt's! Wer hat hier gefurzt? Kann ich das auch mit dem Ding sein? Nee. Da Hund. Hey, der ist da drüber. Wow, lass mich doch wenigstens drüber schweben. The trail appears to split into two. The main source of the Tatarigami energy continued on into the distance, but a small portion remained here and seems to be dissipating slowly. Stell diese paar Teile eigentlich Nagato und Ameno Yuya da? Quite possibly. Let oh, red doch mal schneller, Mann! Jedes Mal denke ich, oh, ist fertig. Something seems to be drawing their attention. Let's take a closer look. Die da? Gotcha. Oh, das sind ja noch mehr. of it a letter written on a piece of torn clothing the ink is bone dry it must have been written quite some time ago well let's take a look ach du scheiße rot gefärbter stoff ich bin nagato mein körper wurde von amino yuya aufgeschlitzt und er hat mir auch noch mein wertvolles schwert genommen ich habe ihn immer verfolgt aber nie eingeholt ich bin zu erschöpft, ich ruhe mich hier aus, aus meinem Bauch strömt Blut heraus. Ich glaube, das ist das Ende. Aber irgendeine unerklärliche Kraft lässt mich weitergehen. Warum hat er mein Schwert weggenommen? Ich habe ihm doch gesagt, ich würde es an ihn verkaufen. Sogar mein Lager aus hat er angezündet. Es tut so weh, es tut so weh. Es tut wirklich unglaublich weh, aber mir ist nicht schwindelig geworden. Ich schreibe diesen Brief, um mich ein wenig davon abzulenken. Sachiko, Yuichi, Yuchi, was soll ich bloß tun? Ich bin ihrer unwürdig, es tut mir so leid. Es ist merke ich, wie falsch ich lag. Ich stehe bestimmt unter dämonischen Einflüssen. Bis zuletzt habe ich alles mögliche seltsamen Dinge gesammelt, aber sie brachten mir weder Glück noch Wärme. Das ist alles nicht eines ihrer Worte wert. Ich denke dir, ich danke dir, es tut mir leid, dass ich so viel Kummer gemacht habe, Sachiko. According to this letter, a conflict arose because Amenoma Yuya wanted to seize a blade belonging to Mr. Nagato. Yuya started the fire that destroyed the warehouse and wounded Mr. Nagato in the fight. Mr. Nagato kept chase as long as he could, eventually stopping here to write this letter when his strength gave out. So, where is he? He was not only mortally wounded, but also under the heavy influence of Tatarigami. Add to that the fact that its aura seems to have attracted a horde of monsters, and I'm afraid he may no longer be with us. Whatever traces there may have been of his fate beyond after this point, they've since been disturbed by the hilly churls. There's nothing more for us to find here. Oh, Kasua, du magst mich fertig mit deinem lang, 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 langsam reden. Wir sollten die Tendere Verwaltung bitten, später eine gründliche Suche durchzuführen. Yes. Right now, we need to uncover some more important truths. If Amenoma Yuya is attacking other people indiscriminately, then the longer we take to find him, the more people risk meeting the same tragic end. Right, so let's get moving. Es sollte nicht so eine Person sein. I wouldn't be surprised if he too fell prey to the influence of the Tatarigami. For a practitioner of the martial arts, the easiest desire to inflame would be their pursuit of further power and skill. All the clues that at first seemed disparate and disconnected 
It seems that now we know the thread that runs between them. I have a hypothesis that, if it's correct, not only explains the series of events leading to the two men's disappearance, but also zeroes in on the attacker's identity. Wait! You figured it out? So these two cases are connected after all? I believe so. But it's something of an outlandish idea. I will only be able to confirm my suspicions once we've met him in person. On with the search. We must stay vigilant. At any point now, we may find ourselves in danger. Ah, fuck, then is the other really tot. What's the jetzt los? Huh? to have stayed here for a long time. Why here? Is there anything special about this place? I'm not sure. But on closer examination, I sense that the aura may have lingered here at several different points in time. <laughs> Show yourself. It's no use hiding anymore. Hmm. Der Stinke. Haide Harakazua. It's you, at last. Aha! So it is the same guy from before! What's your problem, huh? What could you possibly have against Kazua? Indeed, there should be no enmity between us. If it, but what if instead of facing Amenoma Yuya, we are in fact facing the blade in his hand? Schwert? Now that you mention it, it is giving off a strange light. Whoa, whoa! Surely you don't mean... Are you serious? Tatarigami energy often lodges itself within physical objects, then works to subtly affect any living organisms in its vicinity. The blade has resided in Mr. Nagato's warehouse for many years, affecting his state of mind and more recently using the sail as a means to affect, or rather, as a means to occupy Amenoma Yuya's body. Hmm. You're sharper than I thought. You've already deduced the truth of the matter. Also, du hast fett schwarz leuchtende Schwert in der Hand. Jeder Depp wäre da drauf gekommen. Many, many years ago, I was forged by a famed bladesmith of the Ishin tradition. I was his pride and joy in me he placed all his hopes and dreams. As a descendant of the Kaidehara clan, you should be able to guess our greatest regret. I presume it has something to do with the Raiden Goka then. Indeed. At that point in time, he failed to live up to the Raiden Shogun's expectations. In the end, all he could do was to flee the nation by sea on a ship bound for Snezhnaya. He was a bladesmith of great renown, a master of his craft. There was nothing that he could not accomplish. All he needed was more time and a little faith. And sure enough, in the end, he achieved what he had set out to do. All of his life's work, his wisdom, his skill, it culminated in his creation of me. He not only bestowed upon me the greatest of strength, but also endowed me with a consciousness of my own. In her conceit, the Raiden Shogun lost not only the single most perfect blade in the entire world, but also an irreplaceable achievement in the art of blade forging. So... swords can become conscious and control people? The people of the time in which I was born never believed I had that kind of power. They saw me as a mere blade, a sharp and well-crafted one, but in all other respects, an ordinary weapon. After the death of my creator, I decided to leave Snezhnaya and began my long quest to return to the distant land of Inazuma. 
Moving from one person to the next, I controlled the minds of countless hosts along the way, each bringing me one step closer to my ancestral home. I seek but one thing, to face the full force of the Raiden Shogun's blade and prove my power, the might of Isin art! Ah, so Amenoma Yuya was not your first victim. Tell me, what happens to those you've possessed when you've finished using them? My hosts? Who cares what happens to them? They are but tools that serve my mission. When they got tired, or injured, or unusable, I hopped to the next one in line. All I needed them for was to take me back to Inazuma. You're awful! After I returned to Inazuma, I decided to bide my time in Nagato's warehouse until Amenoma Yuya handed himself over to me on a silver platter. At long last, I'm approaching my journey's destination. By Amenoma Yuya's body, I have found you. And by your hand, I shall defeat the Raiden Shogun! Kaede Harakazuha, you stood against the Raiden Shogun's Muso no Hitotachi. There can be no other to serve as my host for what is to come. Now, Give your body over to me! Dass daneben der Traveler steht, der wo Ryan Shogun sogar besiegt hat, ne? That hurt. Oh nein! Quietly now. For Rex Lapis! Die hat ein bisschen Kendo verwendet, Alter. Sorry, aber du kommst ja nicht mehr raus. Oops. Game over, Penner. in my way, or I will strike you down too. Your bluffs fooling no one. You've lost. Lost? I can never lose. It is this body that has reached its limit. Nothing more. Even if you defeat me here, the one who falls will not be me, but this man. He is but a puppet that can be replaced. I can take a new vessel at will. Dann schlage ich dich in Stücke. The end result is the same. I will end this wretch's life before you can lift a finger. And even if I were to lose my physical form, it is but a small setback. My consciousness shall endure. By any means necessary and any medium available, I shall return and fulfill my destiny! Your fighting style. It is indeed the forms of Ishin art. But from your movements, I sense only hatred and arrogance, as well as a thinly veiled mania and despair. Really? You can tell all that just from his moves? As I've mentioned before, the forms of Ishin art convey the user's thoughts and feelings. Since the blade is currently possessing Aminoma Yuya's body, its movements express the innermost thoughts of the blade. If you ask me, the mania is probably due to your desperate, single-minded ambition. You believe I am your only hope. Are you trying to claim that I am helpless without you? On his deathbed, he passed to me all of Ishin Art's secrets. The little that you know barely scratches the surface. In that regard, why would I ever need your help? Because all of that is in the past. I've been wondering why you've not caused more trouble in all the years that you've been in Inazuma. If you are indeed a cursed blade that can possess its owner. Now that I've seen inside your mind, everything finally makes sense. You weren't biding your time. You were trapped. Hmm. After all the time that's passed, you have grown weak. To the point that you are now unable to acquire a new host without making physical contact. Oh, that's right. Paima remembers now. Mr. Nagato had a habit of never touching his collectibles. Only when Mr. Nagato witnessed his wife's distress and decided to sell his collectibles did you finally have an opportunity to reach out to Aminoma Yuya and make your escape. And what of it? Well, 
That brings me to my second point. There's a despair in you that is so strong it threatens to overwhelm you. You were determined to fulfill your Maker's ambition whatever the cost. But this ambition is too grand and too heavy for you to bear. Each step you have taken has come at a great cost. I think you realized your limitations long ago. The more you clenched your teeth and pressed forward, the greater your fear of losing everything you had achieved grew, and the more you wished to run from the truth. But the way I see it, what began as an ambition has long since become a delusional fantasy. What would you know about any of this? I'm just one step away from achieving my goal! You returned to Inazuma to prove the unparalleled brilliance of Ishin art. But to make this arduous journey, you committed countless atrocities and showed a blatant disregard for human life. Even if you were to sever that divine light, is this truly the outcome that your maker would have desired? You... Sure, you inherited the secrets of Ishin art. But even as you made your journey to honor this legacy, you treated the ones who wielded you as mere tools to do your bidding. How could you possibly unleash the full potential of Ishin art when you act in perfect discordance with the principle of harmony between a blade and its bearer? Silence, you blabbering fool! I must achieve my goal. This was his life's dream, and the very purpose for which I was brought into being! I will concede that you are most perceptive. You see my predicament clearly. But you also underestimate my resolve. And you should face reality. Easy for you to say. Facing reality offers me nothing. I have no need of anything that would stand in my way. Not hesitation, not self-reflection, and certainly not your so-called reality. It is pointless to argue further, descendant of the Kaidahara clan. If you wish to save this man, then offer me your body in exchange. How stubbornly you stick to your wayward path. I do not believe for a second that you can challenge the almighty Shogun in your current state. So let us make a bet. What? Surely you're not planning to agree to his demands. Very well. Then find yourself some enemies with whom you wish to cross blades. A taste of my power will more than convince you. Once we have dealt with them, we shall proceed to Tenshukaku. And as for your end of the bargain, if you lose, you must release Aminoma Yuya from your control. I accept. Don't do this, Kazuha! Das Risiko ist zu hoch. This is the only way to save Aminoma Yuya. If we don't do this, he'll forever be the Blade's puppet. The Cursed Blade's strength is currently very weak, and I sense he's hesitating. This suggests his heart is still not completely devoid of honor. The power of the Tatarigami lies in intensifying existing obsessions. This is the reason Mr. Nagato and Aminoma Yuya fell prey to it. Since I don't have any similar kinds of obsessions, I should be able to put up some resistance for a while. But even so... Even if things take a turn for the worse, I still have you both here with me. We have a chance here to save an innocent victim. I am willing to accept the risks entailed. Nagu. Your disdain for me betrays your woeful ignorance. I agreed to this bet because there are things I wish to learn too. Now, take me in your hand. I... I'm okay. I felt a little dizzy at first, but only for a moment. It's all right. So far, this was as I expected. I will. What should we do next? Have you got a plan, Kazuha? 
We find some enemies. Although this blade has endured much turmoil, it probably hasn't experienced many real fights. If a blade built for Ishin art cannot enter a state of harmony between blade and bearer, it cannot unleash its true power. If he wants to avoid reality, then we need to fight until he has no choice but to face it. He shouldn't last long in an intense combat situation. Wait a minute! Paimon remembers hearing about something from the Adventurer's Guild. Since the Takasukasa clan abandoned that secret base, it's been held by Ronin ever since. Dort wäre der ideale Ort. Ah, all right. Please lead the way. What about Aminoma Yuya? What? The blade says he'll let Aminoma Yuya trail us silently. Although he hasn't regained his own consciousness yet, he is not in any immediate danger. Are we sure this is a good idea? It's a pretty treacherous journey. Okay, fine. Just be careful. Der schwebt sowieso in der Luft. Er kann schweben. Keine Ahnung, wie lange es noch geht, aber an der Stelle werden wir dann aufhören. Ähm, Höhepunkte der Version. Achso, das haben wir schon angeschaut, alles. Abschließend was dann in der nächsten Folge. Die ist ja schon für heute hier. Ich glaube, das sage ich in letzter Zeit öfter in Let's Plays. Weil ich immer meistens einzelne Folgen aufnehme, weil ich wieder zu knapp dran bin. Egal, ich danke, bedanke mich bei euch fürs Zuschauen. Und ich hoffe, wir sehen uns wieder in der nächsten Folge von Genshin Impact. Und dann schauen wir mal, was wir mit dem Schwert machen. Macht's gut und Servus.